Well, today we're on the Mississippi River. We're taking a pizza cruise on one of the few operating paddle boats, the La Crosse Queen. I had been on boats before in my younger days, but when I got up here and I got on that boat, it was a journey, an experience that I had forgotten. <laughs> you could go back to the paddles, you could go outside and walk around, you had an upper deck. We had some of the most amazing pizza, all you could eat, we had beer or any kind of drink that you wanted to drink. Uh, had a little bar at the back. We all sat down and just watched the river. We watched the scenery as we floated down that river on that boat, which was awesome. Can you smoke on this? Okay. 150 oh. life jackets aboard this boat. We are located here on the upper deck of the White Bar Apartments. This company's been around here since 1962. We've not had to use any life jackets. We do not plan to use them today. And I'd also like to reassure our passengers that, of course, these are not the original light jackets either. So, with that, welcome, enjoy. Well, one thing about being on the Mississippi that I felt deep inside of me was that when you're on a river, it's like you're in a world of your own. I, I grew up on the plains and the mountains and didn't do much river traveling, but the feeling you get when you're riding on one of those paddle boats is that you feel like that it's your world. The freedom that you feel, the preciousness of being out there floating on the water down a river. If you've never done that, you've got to experience it. went outside and I got in front of the boat as it was headed down the river and you could feel the breeze, you could watch the water, or you could watch all the things on the side of the banks and the peoples and the, and the boats that were parked there. And, but I guess the most wonderful thing about it was that you don't ever want to stop once you get on it. When they started going back, I thought, man, we should have went for another at least eight or nine hours, but we didn't. The people there were were amazing. It was full. We had a we had a pretty much full deck down below of people, and upper deck was full. Then we got down, went underneath the bridge that went over the Mississippi River. Of course, it didn't dawn on me that uh, Minnesota was right across the river there, because sometimes you get mentally defunct about what you're doing because you're enjoying every aspect and second of your life when you're on it. Well, as we were going down the Mississippi, I kept looking at these barges that were parked on the banks and I was curious about why they were parked because the Mississippi River is one of the most uh, transporting rivers there is for merchandise and grain and food and just about everything. The Mississippi is currently being in such a severe depression of water. If we don't do something about this, we're gonna have major problems in the future that's gonna be devastating to us. I would never have dreamed that the Mississippi River would have been that low. One thing I think that people need to embrace is the fact that I was born in the South. I was a Southerner. Uh, all the things that we did in the South, couldn't find them up here in the North. That's not correct. We keep feeling the things that we feel. Well, I'm going up there where the Yankees live, or I'm going down there where them Southerners live. But you know what? Every time a Yankee comes up 
and goes down to the south, they realize that the Southerners aren't all like they're promoted to be. And the same thing with the Southerners when they come up to the north. They feel like the Northerners and they feel that the Northerners aren't what they were thought to be. You have to embrace people, don't matter where they're from, where they're at, or what state they're in. You have to understand that people are humans, and we all have different aspects of life, different thoughts of life, different feelings in life. And you know what? Until you share that with them, they will never understand who you truly are.